So I'm just getting ready to board a plane to head to SECO 2016, which is being held in Atlanta, Georgia, which it's done every single year. And uh, the meeting is always a, a great time of education and good time meeting with uh, uh, industry as well as other uh, collaborative partners and learning about new stuff in optometry. So uh, I hope you enjoy the time with me. Let me tell you a little bit about Atlanta. So Atlanta is a great place if you've never visited. There's a couple interesting things that you might want to check out. You got Martin Luther King is at his, his house that he was at, so forth. So that's really really cool. The other thing is. Uh, it's the headquarters of Coca-Cola, and you, uh, they have a very, very cool um, Coca-Cola uh, little plant that you can go and check out. And also they have um, uh, a pretty neat monument called Stone Mountain, which is the leaders of the Civil War for the South, where their um, memorial. One of my favorite things is this glass elevator. Uh, so we're going up to the 41st floor and it's quite amazing. So I Ubered into the city and uh, am now at my hotel and trying to find my room. first big meeting is generalized optometry meetings of the year and uh, it's, a, it's a very good conference. I want to share with you a little bit more about the education and a little bit more about the uh, exhibitors that come to the meeting. even have 
of education in the exhibit hall. And if you've never been to an optometry meetings exhibit hall, it's uh, quite a magnificent place. There's a lot going on and a lot of people that come into the exhibit hall. Uh, it's a great way to reconnect with a lot of the industry partners as well as see a lot of the really, really cool products um, and a lot of the innovations that are going on in the optical industry. So I'd recommend it. Seiko's Exhibit Hall is right up there with a lot of the other meetings because uh, a lot of the companies are coming here because it's the first part of the year and also because there's so many people here that uh, you can see everything from eyeglasses to uh, medical equipment to medication companies. It's kind of a good place to go. I'll tell you a little bit about the education. Okay, you've got the badge there. You need the program and the bag. Do you know where your first class is? Uh, I am lecturing this afternoon, oh, okay. so I think I know where it is. I think it's 308. It's 308. 308? Uh -huh. okay, yes, down at the bottom of the escalator. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Thanks, Kathy. Right. So here's the SECO program CE. Uh, here's the group of the people that kind of put everything together. Pretty good group. A couple educational courses. So as I'm editing this video, I realized something. Uh, that was Collective Soul that was uh, noted in the book um, that I was just pointing out to you and showing to you. And uh, I didn't mention anything about it as I was going through it. So I want to point out that, you know, there's, there's tickets and you're able to go to this Collective Soul event. That's not Collective Soul. Awesome event you missed out uh, if you didn't go um, but it was really really cool and it's kind of the typical thing that happens on one of the last evenings a lot of the uh, the meetings that that go on in optometry I'd encourage you to check out the meeting and, and take full advantage of all the cool stuff that is there we've got a great profession and there's some really really cool stuff going so wanted to bring that back uh, before I headed back and um, further explain a little bit more about the education here pretty slick stuff this guy right here Paul and Jamie and he was one of my mentors when I was in optometry school and has uh, maintained a mentor and a fantastic guy if you haven't ever met Paul uh, he's definitely made an influence in what optometry is today I encourage you to uh, meet him if you've never had a chance but this is the program of CE, and uh, as you can see, there's a lot of different tracks going on at the same time, uh, both in the para-optometric as well as the optometric. And one of the cool things that they have is um, is some some really cool uh, really cool CE tracks that uh, that look at some things a little bit different. For example, hold on. For example, on Sunday morning, we're doing a program that's called. Uh, the great raft debate for dry eye and each one of us was assigned a different topic um, and uh, we're looking at ways that we can um, prove our point about one dry eye topic we would draw one dry eye treatment being better than another it's a uh, kind of an interesting concept because in this case I got artificial tears but whoever uh, doesn't prove their point ends up being uh, completely thrown out of the boat, so to speak. So, they're going to have raft boats there, they're going to have uh, sharks swimming around, so to speak. Um, and it's a little bit different than education like you would normally see it. So, kind of slick, kind of different stuff. If you've never checked out the CE here, it's pretty cool. You're missing out.
We are heading to a reception that is blocks away from the convention center. Uh, with RPS Sedeno Detector and Inflamadry. Yeah, it's a great thing that we both use in our office for uh, dry eye and for detection of adeno. Yep, and we're Just looking to talk about very little business this evening and enjoy the company with practitioners that enjoy the same technologies as we do. Yeah, so shout out to Seiko, thank you so much, and uh, have a good evening, Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. Yeah. So just ending the uh, ending everything for today. It was uh, great hanging out with everybody, and uh, Seiko Eye Conference was fantastic. Just finished up with Collective Soul. Mike has taken me back in my Uber drive. Uh, great, great guy. So hey, thanks a lot, everybody, for uh, watching this. And subscribe to our channels or check out things at optometricinsights.com. Hope you had a great Seiko. Yeah, I can just walk from here. There you go. All right, hey, All right, thank you. thanks a lot, night. Micah. Appreciate it. That Uber driver was a pretty cool guy. He works full-time, he goes to school part-time, and he drives Uber part-time on the weekends to raise extra money. That's hustle.